I told all my friends that I was taking suggestions for mob updates, and we got some wild ideas from them. For this first request, because my friend just gave us a vague add in a Blood Moon raid, we were able to interpret it in our own way. Alright, let's see what my devs did with these I- Oh! Well, that's the first one. Blood Moon. Come on. Okay, well, I don't know what's up with the moon, but at any rate, I found a sign over here. Blood Moon's up. What was that? Oh my gosh. I need to get to shelter immediately. Uh, hop inside. To ensure that the basics of a Blood Moon raid were included, we made sure that there's a raid boss bar, a ton of hostile mobs, since this is what's in vanilla raids, and of course, that there was a physical Blood Moon itself. Tell me there's... Oh, oh okay, well, that'll do for now. Dude, Blood Moon. Okay. Hey, this is real. I've seen a lot about this. Oh, okay. Well, the golem's already looking rough. We'll take out that. Oh, wow. No, he's huge. And they're eyes. Oh, all righty. All right. This is what I've been prepared for my entire life. Or at least for the last couple minutes. Oh, they're coming from the other side, too. Run, villager! These special Blood Moon zombies are way faster and will likely catch the player off guard as soon as the night falls. Um, okay. This is not necessarily what I had in mind. <laughs> Run! Oh, they're close to the village. Don't let them break the village. They're literally breaking all of the blocks. Oh my gosh, get away. This is not what I want at all. The village, the bar's almost up. Come on, just survive a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, they died. And holy loot, look at this. I just got so many levels in all of these tools. Should the player survive the Blood Moon Raid, however, they'll find themselves given an appropriate amount of loot. That was totally worth it. What do we have here? Mending, Silk Touch, Fortune, Unbreaking. Yo, we just made out fat. Our next creature would have been useful to have during this Blood Moon. We weren't really sure what one of my stranger buddies was asking for here, which, by the way, you'll start to notice from them throughout the rest of this video. But it was some sort of stray turned wolf. Uh, wolf stray? All right, this one seems a little bit more tame than the last one. Stray wolf. Giving ice to a stray will turn it into a stray. Well, hey, I saw that ice cube in there from earlier. Okay, here we go. I am very curious to see what happens here. All right, place down the stray here. We're friends. It's okay. And there's your ice. Hey, you're supposed to... What do I just... Do I actually have to give it to you? Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, oh. Ah! It's getting worse! What kind of sick friends do I keep? First and foremost, they wanted the stray to be more dog-like and loyal. So, just like how a couple of bones can make a wild wolf a tamed pet, so too can a block of ice make the stray into a friendly... pet? Companion? <sighs> this request is pretty weird. I, I mean, your back's a little out of order. Are you like... wait. I'm curious. Ah, uh, well, it keeps following me, so I assume it's friendly. Oh, I can even, I can even sit it down. Okay, yeah, yeah, my friends are twisted. Okay, well, why don't you come see, see what you made of, buddy? <laughs> Wait, oh, I don't like, whoa, whoa, nice. And it slows, wow. The other mechanic that this person requested was the stray be given a cool, cold attack. So not only will a tame stray stop attacking and become friendly toward the player, but it will also assist the player, fighting off hostile mobs with its snow beat. This is one cool mob. Where were you during that blood moon? Let's try this again. <laughs> Get him, boy! This is how this blood moon should have gone. I'm gonna rake up all the loot. Perfect. I actually just realized the more of them I kill, the the less loot I get. Ah. Another friend of mine was asking that the snow golem, and the game for that matter, become more festive. Snow golem's the perfect mob to festify. I can only assume. There we are. Yes, indeed. Now, the snow golem was changed to look pretty similar to some people's favorite seasonal snowman. Not Olaf, Frosty. All right, let's see what you are. Hello there. You are comfy cozy looking in that scarf of yours. And it'll now transform igloos into an iconic and jovial escape worthy of the North Pole. Hold on, I've got something to feed you. A nice zombie. Ha <laughs> ha. So does it still shoot? It sure does shoot snowballs. Very good. I'm gonna hide behind you. Yeah, this is a, actually, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll del deliver the final blow, okay? Oh, well, how about this? You want to finish him off? Okay. Perfect. 
Hey, look at that. I got a present for my trouble. Since the snow golem should determine who's naughty and nice, just like Santa Claus, the snow golem might as well fully embrace that Saint Nick direction and reward or punish players based on these assessments. Very nice. Gift box. What do we have? Oh, we got emerald. Five, in fact. Nice. And that should be ten. We got our hands on diamonds, gold, emeralds, diamonds, emeralds, 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 gold. Might have enough to go trade with that villager I saw in the spawn egg in here. All right, what do you have for me? What? Absurd. I want... Hey, was that you? Hey, villager, I need some trades and I need them now. I... Right. He's throwing snowballs at me. However, if the player is deemed bad by the snow golem by doing things like hitting a villager, they'll find themselves receiving a pretty painful snowball and lump of coal combo this season. Oh, he dropped some of his coal. Well, at least I have a consolation prize. Actually, in fact, why don't you join me up back, golem? Got some trees I'd like to chop with you. This request for a more magical witch was pretty vague, which gave us some freedom to explore. So here's what we did. All right, let's see what the devs did with the witch. I saw a sign out there that I did not like. Ooh, but I do see a broomstick. We'll have to get to that in just a second. All right, let's see what you are. Whoa, frightening. Oh, less frightening, but still frightening. Ooh, throwing potions at me and got a broomstick to boot. Well, I actually have a very nice axe on me. Oh, hey, what happened? Like something straight out of a fairy tale, the potions will transform anything attacked into a passive mob. A black cat, to be specific. Maybe the witch just wants to have a cute pet. We'll never know. Hey, I'm a cat. I, meow, what happened? Dude, what am I supposed to do about the, oh gosh, I'm in water too. This is the worst day ever. Get away. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm back to normal human. Well, I need to show this guy the sharp end of my walking stick. Witches get stitches. And apparently I get broomstick. Nice. I was about to use the broomstick and another witch showed up. And look at this thing that's appearing above my head. Not today. Oh, the whole Calvary's out. I see another one over there. It's not gonna happen. Let me try this thing out. Oh boy. Whoa. With a broomstick in hand, players are capable of riding throughout the sky. The broomstick is so magical, however, that players may struggle to control its flight. It instantly started raining too. Was that me? Dude, I'm flying around. This is what, and I think I just saw, <gasps> yeah. I think I just shot out potions out of my broomstick. I hope that's where it came from. It also has the inherent ability to change the weather and has the ability to produce more magic in the form of splash potions that can be dropped on any mobs found underneath. There we go, direct hit! Seemingly continuing with the fairy tale theme, this request answers the question. What would happen if you were able to kiss a frog in game? Ugh. Well, as much as I'd like to leave the swamp, I did see that there is another mob that the devs have changed. The frog. Okay. Curious to see what my team did to this poor little soul. Hey, guy. You don't look remarkably different. You a nice pet? No, you don't like that. A little pet? A little pet? Uh -huh. We've made it so that the player is able to walk up to any frog they see in game, sneak down to get to their level, and kiss them. Uh -huh. Would not recommend in real life, by the way. Any kissed frog will display its gratitude as it gains uh -huh. some love loving heart particles, and blossoms into a loyal prince who seems to have an attitude problem. Uh, hi. Wow, you look cool. Hey, what happened? Why did you do that? Prince? Get real. That is not princely behavior. Well, it probably is. Y'all ever read a history book? Okay, I grabbed some of my emeralds from earlier. Maybe that'll make him... <laughs> I figured as much. Here's your taxes. Fiend. Okay, so now that we're cool, I assume these spawn eggs that came with the frog one. Oh, well, that, he's on fire. Oh, I see. So he just doesn't like anybody that'll pay up the taxes. No, I get it. I understand. It's, but that was quick. Additionally, the prince is a royally trained fighter that can take on hostile mobs and help the player survive and a numerous number of adventures, perhaps including during that blood moon. Blood moon? Been there, done that. Well, how about for one of your common people? Whoa. Well, they're quick to the taxes as well. I'm pretty sure I just saw nothing. Hold. Whoa, I'm getting extra goodies. What is it? Because I'm like your console or what, what do they call those? A player that brings the prince back to his village will be rewarded for their efforts by the prince's citizens. Ah, and off he goes to his other kingdoms to collect. We're back at it with another strange request from our favorite weird suggestion maker. The Batman Bat. Oh, you must be kidding me. It actually looks exactly like Batman. Yeah, this was one of the weirder ones for sure. I'll tell you that much. So I, ooh, I think it bit me. <laughs> 
damage, but hey, I got some goodies from this. Nice. Oh, whoa. What just happened? As was, I think, requested in the conversation, this bat will act normal until the player gets too close, at which point the bat will bite the player, turning them into Batman. Thinking about it, it seems my friend here got confused with Spider-Man. Look, now I've got a battering I can fire off. I'm not gonna keep the voice going. But anyways, I'm pretty sure I just killed Batman, so now I'm the new Batman. Hey, I am more than fine with that. Where are some villains? I'm not a villain or anything. More of an anti-hero, really. All right, players, was good my ultimate bat like ab abilities i think it's just the battering actually but that's fine well i think it like bounced too whoa worst superhero ever i can't hit a shot worth a dang the player will now have access to a powerful battering which can be thrown at mobs to knock them out giving the player time to bring them in for justice all right well it looks like the baddie was so bad he took out his other baddie and then i got baddie with my baddie outfit i'm gonna stop all right, but let's see if I can fly at least. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. Well, uh, more of uh, falling with, with style. For us to add the carp legend into Minecraft, the carp first needed to be added into the game. Not a problem. Carp here, huh? Well, according to the sign, the carp spawns in rivers and will turn into a sea serpent. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's see what we've got here. Carp, become the serpent you were always meant to be. He's flowing down a stream. He can't even keep his own weight. With that done, we made it so that the carp can now, very rarely, be found in some rivers. Oh, I think he heard me. He's coming back. Now, wait a second. Actually, I don't know that I've ever seen that before. He's swimming upstream. Or trying to, at least. Look at that. Hey, this is just like in real life. But I don't know how far you're going to get once you get the waterfall. All right, mister. Let's see what you're made of, huh? My goodness. He's trying, isn't he? Oh, my gosh. What just happened? Are you kidding me? Wait, I need to get up to the top there. Apparently, something gonna happen <laughs> even more rarely some carp will naturally go from humble beginnings to the top of the food chain as they attempt to swim from their deep water birthplaces up a river that's topped with a waterfall if a carp makes it all the way up the waterfall then it will as the legends say become a gorgeous and magnificent dragon whoa nice look at you i was sorry about what i said uh, earlier <laughs> the wait like are we cool what do i do i can ride him sea serpent yo the player is actually able to interact with this dragon taming it and riding this water god across their minecraft world best not pokemon i've ever seen but we're like stuck in this pool so i mean you can enjoy the coastline i suppose my goodness what am i witnessing well wherever this mob goes so too does the river no way look i cannot believe it yo do we get to just keep oh get real anywhere we go let me see <laughs> the signs they've seen better days all right this one's my favorite so far oh also uh sorry about your uh cousin over there i'm curious what would happen if a bunch of carp raced to the top of the waterfall yeah one of these seems dangerous enough despite my friend ignoring our incredible pun we went in on the idea of the drowned being not just pirates but ghost pirates who became specters after being lost at sea for far too long First, the drowned finally have their own pirate ship that the player has a chance of encountering. All right, we're in our next area, Pirate Drowned. Okay, well, this must be the- Oh my gosh, whoa! This pirate ship isn't just for cool, spooky aesthetics, however, since it can be used by the drowned to attack the player with explosive ghost bombs that can drown them. The ship! It just shot a cannonball at me! The sign- Oh gosh, it's still going! Uh -huh. I think I see some of them up there, too. I- Okay, well, I need to think about this for a second. If the player manages to dodge the cannonballs and close the distance on the drowned, you can now see how we've leaned in on the aspect of them being ghosts. Okay, I can only hide for so much longer. I've been out here all night and they're still firing away. It's all right. I think we're just going to need to get on the ship. Maybe take it over. Okay, we're almost near the front. All right, perfect. How do we get up? Oh, we got to be away. Here we go. Perfect. All right. There's them drowns and they've got company. I don't know what happened to my items between the last area, but this is not the time to not have them. Yo, they are filled to the brim with sharp, nasty explosions and objects. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we need to get out of here. Perfect. I gave them the runaround. They're now in the water. I've got a nice bow and arrow ready just in case. Any other goodies for me here? No? Well, I'll just have to handle them from a distance. 
fools! This is my ship now. <laughs> ah, I thought you could sneak one by me, huh? Your precious torches. I'm gonna go rub it in their face that I found their secret loot. Hey, you smellies. Check out what I got. Your torches. <laughs> uh -huh. As ghostly forces of the dark, the drown will be stunned by the light, and the players will be given a fighting chance against these undead foes. Hey, look. Wait a second. Whoa, the torches. I think it's doing something to them. Get away from me. You're too close. These are mine now, by the way. Yeah, look, they can't deal any damage to me. Hold on. So if I don't hold the torches... Oh, boy, not a good idea. We're gonna hold the torches again. That way I can yeah, punch on them a little bit. Finally, Mr. Oddball over here actually came up with a pretty interesting idea. Turning the warden into more of a warden. It's still pretty weird, but it sounds super fun. All right, a warden warden. I am looking forward to this, mostly because I already saw a giant what looks like prison system. So let's go see if there's any wrongdoing happening around here. Hey, any crime going on here? No, uh, just, just kissing. Stealing from the barrels, I see, huh? No, no crime? Hey, who's committing crime in... Well, the only crime in this place is how dirty they've kept it. Could y'all commit some crime, please? I mean, this is just ridiculous. Everyone here is so good-natured. It just makes me sick. Ugh. Oh. Now, in this world, if the player does anything considered even remotely bad, they will be taken up to jail by the Warden Warden. Right to jail. Right away. Oh, 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 no, no. No, no, you misunderstand. That's not... What? Hey, that's illegal. You're going to j Illegal? No, it was just a love tap. Come on. Oh. Oh, hey! No, that's not... Think about what I did. I'll play these games. I don't like this one bit. Inside the jail, the players will find themselves unable to break out. And perhaps worst of all, shamed by the warden. Wait, I'm in... Ah, oh, put me in adventure mode! I literally can't break out. There's not even an exit I can get through. These were the two last love tappers to find their way inside a prison. Eh, thankfully, though, I can just go into creative, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> now what you gonna do, warden? Haha, <laughs> silly. Now, my new friend had a ton of requests about the Creeper, but we think we managed to get them all. As a result, the world is now introduced to the Creeper Jockey. All right, the big one, Creeper Jockey. Creeper Jockeys will run towards the player and explode. Oh, but their explosion doesn't deal damage. Well, I'll tell you what, I can deal with that. So what do you got? Oh, gosh, that's way... What I do? Not only is this a funny-looking mob combination, but they have quite a few more features. First, they will charge at the player super fast. They won't deal damage to the player, but they'll launch them into the air. Well, there's two. How did that happen? The creeper Jockey is also our first duplicating mob, meaning that if you think you're safe after surviving the first explosion, you're not. When exploding, it will duplicate? Come on! Oh, there's many more. There, well, there's literally four. Um, hey. hey. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Just know that if you see even one of these mobs, they can duplicate so rapidly that you'll find yourself overwhelmed by an entire horde pretty soon. Either you'll be overwhelmed or your computer will be. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh no. Wait, does it really keep, like, is it eight now? I think there's, like, eight now. Dude, no! They might not be the most dangerous mobs here, but they were definitely the most explosive suggestion out of all my friends' ideas. But certainly my friends in the comments section can give me some of their ideas. 